Hey guys, welcome back to the teaching video sessions for Medheads by Plabable. My name is Dr. Rupa Chatterjee and our theme of this week is cardiovascular system. And today I'll be telling you few tips about how to deal with questions based on electrocardiogram that is your ECG in Plab1. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, what is an ECG? So ECG is an electrocardiogram which traces the electrical activity of the heart. Now, when we look at an ECG, we look at its rate and the rhythm. Okay, so an ECG has one big box and in one big box, it has five small boxes. Uh, one big box is equal to 0.2 seconds and each small box is, so there are five. So 0.2 divided by five, that's 0.04 seconds okay and how to calculate the rate uh, you have to see between two qrs complexes you see the number of big boxes and you do 300 divided by number of big boxes and that gives you the rate okay now how to dif like how will you know the what are the different components of the ecg so let's start one by one you have a p wave you have a qrs complex and you have a t wave okay so what is P wave. P wave represents atrial depolarization. PR interval represents the time taken for the impulse to reach the AV node from the SA node. Then QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. And then the T wave represents ventricular repolarization. We cannot see atrial repolarization because it gets merged with the ventricular depolarization okay so let's start with the different rhythms now before we start talking about the different rhythms let me tell you that if you find if the patient's vitals are unstable that is less than 90 bar 60 millimeter mercury is the bp except mi leave mi out of here we are talking about the different uh, rhythms of the heart so if you find an arrhythmia with unstable vitals directly go for the option cardioversion or dc cardioversion okay because any unstable patient you will directly shock the patient okay now let's start talking about the different rhythms and their management okay so first we have atrial flutter now what will you see in atrial flutter you will see saw tooth waves okay so saw tooth waves in lead to indicates atrial flutter okay why do we get an atrial flutter it means apart from sa node there are other electrical impulses that are originating in the heart and traveling in the heart atrial flutter stable or unstable you will give dc cardio version okay now let's move on to atrial fibrillation in atrial fibrillation you have an irregularly irregular pulse okay so the the distance between two QRS complex will not be equal at all and over here you will get fibrillatory waves and absent P waves because there is not enough time the heart is beating so fast there is not enough time for the atria to fully depolarize that's why you are getting absent P waves okay now what is the management of atrial fibrillation if the patient is stable you can give the patient beta blockers to control the heart rate now if the patient is asthmatic you can give him verapamil if the patient has associated heart failure you will give digoxin and unstable patient direct cardioversion So now let's start talking about the different types of heart block. Okay, so we have three types of heart block. We have first degree heart block, second degree heart block and third degree heart block. So in
with the patient ami odron if the patient is stable and in the unstable directly cardiovert now polymorphic ventricular tachycardia that is your white complex you will give the patient that is also called as torsadis diponitis and you will give the patient intravenous T waves that is very important over here if you see that wave directly give the patient calcium gluconate iv to protect the cardiac membrane okay now moving on to calcium calcium uh, see the qt interval because uh, that is how the more the calcium faster the impulses will travel so you will have hypercalcemia you will have a short qt interval and in hypocalcemia because there is less calcium less time for the impulses to travel in the heart you will have a prolonged qt interval